Uh, Manchester United versus Crystal Palace. Um, the actually the odds for the person, the people who are watching it on YouTube, but it's been like a cut up video. The odds have actually quite changed uh, since the graphic. Manchester United are now priced 2.35, uh, Crystal Palace 2.9, draw 3.4. So very interesting. A lot of the money is going on Crystal Palace there. Palace there, um, not Manchester United at home. I'm not touching the outrights. Uh, lean on the unders for me, but. Um, uh, who's going for what? What are you going for, Flash? I'm, I'm going to go. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Go on, right. no, no, go on, Nigel. I mean, I have got I, a bet I, in this, I, but go on, Nigel. I, I saw Man United at 2.55, and I had to look again. I had to have another double look. I know they've got reserve players out. I know they're playing uh, in the Europa League last week, but they played Bournemouth at home on the final day of the season last season when they were three days before the FA Cup final, and they're 1.55 to win that game. They're 2.55 to beat Crystal Palace. Wayne Rooney will still play. Martial will still play. Romero is probably the best reserve backup goalkeeper in the Premier League. Uh, Phil Jones will play. Um, this is Mourinho in his last home game at Old Trafford. How can Man United be 2.55 to win at home to Bright Palace? I will never know. I think this is one of the biggest ricks of the season so far. I am all over Man United. 2.55 I saw. If it's 2.3 thief, I make them a 1.85 chance. I cannot believe the price they are. Palace under Allardyce will defend. They might go out and win it. They don't really care. But Manchester United, the reserve side, it's good enough to beat Crystal Palace's first side anyway. So I'm Pat Man United all the way. 2.55 is massive. Yeah, it, it goes as high now, but that's with Bet Stars 2.55. Bet365 is 2.45. So it depends on, on uh, who you even, shop with. Even anything, anything bigger than 2.3 is just the wrong price. Any, do you, even do you, even do you money, play I mean, at Bet Stars? Is Bet Stars a book oh, you use? Oh, oh, I love them. <laughs> okay. I, do, I do this week. I do this week. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I, I think really, though, it's because of their impending uh, Europa League match that they're saying. Yeah, but you know, I'm saying last week, they, last, last, that basket. Yeah, but last week, last 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 season that they played three days, their game against Bournemouth was postponed by two days because there was a, a suspected, suspected package at Old Trafford against Bournemouth. That was about they played the game three days before the FA Cup final. They played Bournemouth last end of the season. They were one point five five. Bournemouth last season in Crystal Palace this season and Man United are arguably a better team than last season and a bigger squad. They, I, I think I think it's just gone a bit mad, this price. I, 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 I was really against 1. Saints, 8, 1. though, 9. didn't they? Like, nil-nil. You can play Manchester United, draw no yeah, bet. Yeah, but like... 1.8. Just saying, as but, a... But they had a 23-match unbeaten run before they got beat by Tottenham. I mean, it was, that was incredible. You know, it, it, I, I, think, I think we've got a bit mad on the price. That's my personal right. opinion. So you're going, you're going for the value um, rather than the Definitely. safe bet. Okay. So yeah. Flash, what, what are you going for? Uh, this is another one of my naps. And this <laughs> is Man United, uh, sorry, under two and a half goals at 1.9. Yeah. I just think, I just think the, the na naive team, Man United were a complete disgrace last night. Uh, all right, Southampton missed the penalty, but they never laid a glove on Man United, on uh, Southampton. They, they weren't very good at all. So, so for me, it's under two and a half goals at 1.9. You're liking yeah. the way I know all my prices tonight. It's almost as if someone nudged me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. It's like inspect, someone... inspect, inspect, inspect the rice room. Yeah, yeah, just checking. And I, uh, Nigel also got a nudge about his earphones. I was yeah, like, don't I've forget got your on. earphones. Don't forget your odds. Don't forget things. Yes, that's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, mine, I, it's a no bet for me, but definitely leading on the under 2.5 goals there, 1.91. Uh, 